Hello everyone, I'm Paul Michael Wire Grimes. John Krasinski is taking a big swing as a director, going from the scary A Quiet Place franchise to the family-friendly If. If is now streaming on Paramount Plus, and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. John Krasinski wrote, directed, and stars in If that reminds its audience on the importance of imaginary friends at any age. His character Dad is trying to give his daughter Bee, who's played by Kaylee Fleming, the best life possible despite the hardships that they faced. Bee's mother died from terminal cancer, and now Dad is facing heart surgery. At 12 years old, she spends time with her grandma, who's played by Fiona Shaw, but still feels lonely and lost without anyone to talk to. She wakes up one night and sees a big, purple, furry monster named Blue, along with a bug named Blossom talking back to her. Blue is voiced with full throttle energy by Steve Carell, while Phoebe Waller-Bridge voices Blossom. There are two of many imaginary friends, nicknamed Ifs, who work for a man named Calvin, who's played by Ryan Reynolds. B may be too old for Ifs herself, but she decides to... Uh, help Calvin match ifs with other kids who are in need of some friends. The film also features an A-list cast with Emily Blunt, George Clooney, Bradley Cooper, and Maya Rudolph lending their voices to the other ifs. John Krasinski gives this film a really delicate sensitivity from the beginning, knowing that a parental death is the catalyst for this story. Michael Giacchino's whimsical score really complements this tone well, and you'll recognize his sound almost immediately. Now, it might be a heavy starting point, but I love that Krasinski is treating his younger audience in a mature fashion, knowing that they can handle mat the material that he embarks on. And the ifs come in all shapes and sizes and designs that will get easy laughs uh, thanks to their unique personalities. Kids will love them, and adults, I think, will have to kind of reach back into their own imagination to appreciate them. You can't go into a movie like this with any sort of cynicism, as Krasinski is also speaking to the adult audience here, but just as much as he's making this for kids. It's really twofold in how we use his ifs to teach kids on how to find their purpose through the power of imagination, and how he reminds the adults that we need to remember to kind of view life sometimes with that same creativity and positive outlook, especially when times get real tough. There's a lot of joy and good on screen, despite the hardships that are facing B and her father. It's hard not to smile at a Tina Turner-inspired musical number. Krasinski treats If as if he's making like a live-action Pixar movie, as it really reminds me of the themes of Toy Story. He's assembled a really great cast with Steve Carell really throwing his whole voice around as Blue. You know, Ryan Ken Reynolds can do his usual stick, but without the R-rated Deadpool angle. And Krasinski himself, of course, makes for just a lovable dad with dad jokes and the pranks he plays on B. If meets kids where they're at. It doesn't speak down to them or rely on immature humor to keep them entertained. Krasinski knows how to reach each member of the family differently, making for a good family movie night that sparks creativity and tugs at the heartstrings. I'm giving If 4 out of 5 ticket stubs. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I have some other movie reviews, some celebrity interviews, and I'd love to hear from you. Leave me a comment on YouTube or on social media, at Paul's Movie Trip. Have you watched If? Are you a fan of it? Uh, let me know in the comments, and then go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for even more reviews. Thank you so much for watching my review of If. This is Paul's Trip to the Movies.